Welcome to part three of our Refresh, Renew, Re-Energize with Essential Oils. My name is Cindy Grant and this is Savvy by Nature. Today's clip is dedicated to putting a pep in your step with peppermint essential oil. So today is all about re-energizing and it's dedicated to those awesome moms and those awesome women out there who are taking care of their families, putting food on the table, working full time, who are running from the time that they wake up to the time that they go to bed, who are homeschooling their babies, who are practitioners, who are caregivers, who are out there uh, as healers or teachers, uplifting everybody else and leading the way in a very positive direction. You are doing a big job out there and we need you to be healthy and strong and full of vibrant energy. And so today we're gonna to show you how peppermint essential oil can do that for you. When I came into Young Living eight years ago, I had uh, been in a 15 year fast paced career. I was exhausted. I was full of pain and I was full of toxins and peppermint essential oil was one of the very first essential oils that I fell in love with. So this is one of my faves because it kind of took away all of the things that irked me and relaxed me. It made me feel better. It took my pain away. It improved so many things and I want to share some of those recipes with you so that you can build them into your everyday lifestyle as well. So. Let's get started. Let's give you a go in your glow, a pep in your step, and a spring to get going. Okay, so when you take a look at stress and you look at what stress does to your body, it's actually pretty detrimental. I don't know if you're like me, but when I was stressed out eight years ago, I was doing things to try and keep my energy up that were not always healthy. I was grabbing for things like chocolate and coffees. Sometimes I would have six coffees a day. Then by the time I would get home to bed, I couldn't sleep. So then I'd have a drink to calm me down. And that was a very dangerous cycle to get into because I was manipulating my awake sleep cycle so that they weren't natural anymore. And I was exhausting my adrenals. I was manipulating my stress response. And we don't wanna do that. We wanna reserve our adrenals as much as we can for things that we need them most for, like uh, reacting fast or making quick decisions for safety, as an example. So we wanna get natural forms of energy and peppermint can do that for us. Now, the peppermint essential oil that we have is an NHP, natural health product, approved by Health Canada for digestive upset. You know when we're stressed, right? We hold a lot of that worry and anxiety in our tummy. So rubbing three drops of peppermint essential oil right on your tummy is one of the greatest ways that peppermint can work for you. Now, as an NHP, it can work as an antispasmatic or and a carminative. So if you've got cramps or spasms in your tummy, it can relax those. And if you've got gas and bloating, it can actually calm gas and bloating. So just think about all those scenarios that happen for you as an adult or even your little kiddos when they get upset or they even have the stomach flu, for example, you can just rub a couple of drops of peppermint on their belly to relieve them. So there's three bottles that I wanted to talk about in particular. And the first one looks like this, and it's a 15 ml bottle of peppermint. And inside a 15 ml bottle of peppermint, there are 250 drops, thereabouts. We also have a smaller green bottle of peppermint that looks like that. This is a five ml bottle of peppermint, and it has around 85 drops. Now we even have a third bottle that looks like that. Now I don't know if you can see that, that actually has a plus sign on it, peppermint plus, and it also says food flavoring. So this label is designated for flavoring up your teas, your hot chocolates, your baked goods, your cooking. Now, it's exactly the same oil that is in each one of these other products. It's just labeled so that we can use it in our kitchen. The people out there who also have the seed to seal story, you're going to have even a different label. That is actually a special collection that Young Living has put together and you have 10 mils of essential oils in each one of those bottles and that's around 200 drops. So 
With each one of these, you can do so many things. And I'm going to show you some great recipes in the kitchen that you can use peppermint to really enjoy a burst of flavor, probably a flavor you've never experienced before. You ready to go? Okay, so now we're ready to give ourselves a healthy zip of energy by infusing our beverages with peppermint essential oil. Now, every morning when you wake up, this is how I replaced coffee. You can grab a really healing glass of water because our body needs lots and lots of water throughout the day. And you can add a drop of peppermint essential oil to your water. You can give it a little bit of a stir and sip away. You can sip all day. I probably wouldn't put any more than one to two drops in your water and definitely make sure your first glass of water with the therapeutic essential oil in it is a large one. So I'm gonna show you one of my favorite beverages. I love peppermint tea. Peppermint tea is the oldest and most highly regarded herb. And we drink peppermint tea so that we can feel better, we can calm our tummy. We've been doing this for centuries. The great part about using essential oils is it's highly concentrated. So one cup of peppermint tea, or sorry, one cup of tea that we would make with essential oil would be equivalent to about 24 or 26 cups of herbal tea, which means you don't need a lot when you're making your tea. All you need is hot water, from your kettle and a drop of peppermint oil. Now, if you prefer to make the actual peppermint tea first and then add a drop of essential oil, you can do that too. It just depends on your palate and what you prefer. I absolutely love hot chocolate, but a lot of the hot chocolates out there are very unhealthy because of the extra added sugar. So I'm gonna show you a recipe that really is guilt-free. I love this recipe because I'm using different types of milk rather than dairy milk from animals. I'm actually gonna show you almond milk and I use a great form of cocoa powder. So this is one of the cocoa powders that I love called Giddy Yo-Yo and it is not sweetened and it is very ethically created, made, manufactured, and brought into Canada. So you can find this at your natural health food stores. And I like to use about a tablespoon to two tablespoons for the size of this cup, depending on how much energy I'm needing. So today I feel like I'm just gonna need one tablespoon of hot cocoa. So I'm gonna put that in there. Now, do you ever try and mix hot cocoa and there's lots of lumps and bumps? This is my secret for how to avoid that. I've used organic coconut oil, and as you can see, it's uh, all ready to go. And I'm going to put it inside the cup before I mix any liquid. But I'm gonna put it in there with the hot cocoa. So you can see it's ready to go. Now, here's the secret. I'm gonna add a little tiny bit of boiling hot water until I just get a little paste going and I'm gonna mix everything all together. This is gonna create almost like a chocolate sauce rather than a chocolate water powder. This is gonna help emulsify all of your chocolate and your oil and your powder and your water all together and you just keep stirring until that coconut oil dissolves. You're also adding richness and thickness to your hot cocoa. So that's just about done. And to save time, what I've done is I've heated up a little bit of almond milk, and I'm gonna pour in my almond milk into my cup and stir it in. It's now looking like a beautiful milk chocolate. And then this is the fun part. Add a drop or two of peppermint essential oil 
to the top, mix in, and there you have a very healthy hot cocoa, guilt-free. Now you're probably saying, wait a minute, Cindy, I didn't see you put any sugar in there. And it's like, no, actually I'm really good for eating and drinking cocoa without added sugar, but that may not be the case for you. What I would recommend is getting a natural sweetener that has no chemicals in it, like stevia. Stevia just so happens to be the one natural sweetener that comes from a plant. You can see the plant here that does not spike your blood sugar. So you can use it like sugar by putting a teaspoon to a tablespoon of sweetener in at the time that you would put your cocoa powder. So that's my recipe for hot chocolate and I hope that you love it. This is gonna be good because it's gonna raise your vibration rather than lower your vibration because it's healthier. Things like coffee actually lower your vibration because they're acidic and they have a tendency to wear away at your stomach lining. So this is great. If you drink this, peppermint can also give you great breath. So drinking a peppermint hot chocolate, a peppermint tea, or a peppermint um, cold water, you can actually have great breath. It can also help you feel full and not eat so much at mealtime. The very first way that I used peppermint essential oil was for all of the aches and pains that I was experiencing all over my body. So if you are a mom and a super mom and somebody who is running around a lot and on your feet all day, you're gonna want to use peppermint essential oil on the bottom of your feet because when your feet are achy and sore at the end of the day, there's nothing like cooling relief. When peppermint gets rubbed onto your skin, it's gonna create a tingling sensation. And that tingling sensation is gonna be cooling. When you put three drops on the bottom of each foot, you can probably feel relief within 10 to 15 minutes, if not earlier. Because again, this is a natural health product by Health Canada registration for pain and aches that have to do with strains and sprains as well as rheumatoid arthritis. What I used it for was my back pain. You know, when we are um, running around and we're very fast paced and we've got a stressful life, we very often have our, um, our emotions show up in our body. So I was always getting L4, L5 pain, which is pain in the lower back and that lower back is often the feeling of when we are stressed financially or when we are stressed emotionally and we don't feel supported so when we don't feel supported emotionally or um, financially that is very much where it can show up is our lower back and just three drops right on the lower back also think about your shoulders too you know, if you feel like you're carrying the world around on your shoulders, you're probably going to have tense and achy shoulders. So put that peppermint oil on your shoulders too. Good on the temples. Now, this has got naturally occurring menthol in it, which means that when you open the bottle, there are vapors that are quite powerful that are going to come out of the bottle. You can probably start to smell the vapors by just holding the bottle by your abdomen. When you bring it up, you can smell that strong menthol coming right out of the bottle. And because of that, you may find that if the vapors get a little close to your eyes, they might make your, they may make your eyes blink. It's not going to hurt your eyes. It's just going to feel a little bit uncomfortable. So you can close your eyes until the feeling passes. Or if you get essential oils in your eye, peppermint or any others, you can actually get it out by using the tissue method or a carrier oil. Let me show you how that works. So if I've got peppermint on my hands and I've accidentally touched my eye, all I have to do is just hold up the tissue to soak out anything that might be in that part of my eye and it will usually clear up right away. If that's not good enough and it still feels a little tingly, then you'll wanna take a carrier oil, just go to your kitchen, grab your olive oil in the cupboard and put a little drop on your hand and swipe the inside of your eye with the olive oil and that will neutralize that feeling. Again, it's not gonna hurt you, but it's not gonna feel very comfortable either. 
little kids very often are um, a little hesitant about that tingling sensation that comes with peppermint. So you may want to actually mix the peppermint oil one-to-one -one with a carrier oil before you rub it on the bottoms of their feet. And of course, you're gonna use peppermint oil on your kiddos that are 18 months or older. Okay, so peppermint is a driver oil, which means that it's a hard-working oil. And if you're using other essential oils on your body, it can actually amplify the benefits of what you've just put on. So let me give you an example. Maybe I have put lavender on my muscles to relax them, but I'm having a really tight muscle day. What I can do is I can add a couple of drops of peppermint afterwards, and that peppermint, because it's got the active menthol, is gonna go in there and make lavender work harder. So you can use it to drive other essential oils in when you're having a particularly tough or challenging day when you're using the oils. One thing that I'm gonna share with you is one of my favorite foot soaks, and this is for after a long day, you'd like to give yourself a little rest, a little relaxation, and soak your feet in nice warm water, and just let that pain relieve, and the rest of the day fly away. So you can fill up a bucket of warm to hot water, not too hot, you add two drops of peppermint essential oil, you add two drops of tea tree essential oil, and you can mix the essential oils inside the Epsom salts first before you put your feet in. And what that does is it allows the essential oils to mix with the Epsom salts and dissolve into the water. Otherwise, the essential oils will stay floating on the top and you'll only feel the peppermint right around where your feet enter the water. So that'll help give you a very relaxing pedicure and foot soak at the end of the day. Peppermint essential oil is an NHP for cough and cold. So putting it into the diffuser and letting the vapors come up can really help open up those breathing passageways, especially if we're having um, challenges with the stuffy nose. You can take a little carrier oil and rub it onto your chest with peppermint to help with any kind of chest heavy feelings when we're experiencing a cough and cold. Um, and again, like I said before, it's great for tummy flu, helping our little ones by putting one drop to three drops on their belly. Now, ladies, if you are out there in the middle of winter time, stripping down to t-shirt and shorts to get outside in the snow and get cooled off, this is like an air conditioner in a bottle. And you don't have to do that. You can actually just take a couple of drops of peppermint and put it on your wrists. You even take a couple of drops of peppermint and rub it behind your neck. And within about five minutes, you're going to feel the tingling and cooling action happen, and it can really help you cool off. Now, if you're homeschooling your kiddos and you're finding it difficult to keep their attention and they are really challenged at being focused, you can use peppermint essential oil and combine it with a couple of other buddies in order to create a focused diffuser. So this is my diffuser buddy, Feather the Owl, and he is a cold air diffuser. So you can see this is the well where we put the water and they actually have a line here that shows you where the water goes to. The reason that we want to actually use cold water is to maintain the therapeutic value. If you are warming up or heating with a flame, the essential oils, it's gonna burn off the therapeutic value. And also at a certain temperature, it becomes carcinogenic. So we don't want that. We're gonna do things as healthy as we possibly can. But this is a recipe to keep your kids really focused or yourself. Maybe you're doing some studying or doing some work where you're having a hard time keeping your attention on task. This can help with performance, it can help with concentration, it can help with the way that we think um, and give us a little bit of, of boost in our um, brain area. So I'm gonna use two drops of peppermint and I'm also gonna put in, just to save a bit of time, two drops of lemon oil and I'm gonna put in two drops of lavender oil. So again, that's two drops of peppermint, two drops of lemon, and two drops of lavender. 
I'm going to put my diffuser lid back on and I'm going to light him up and there we go. Now this is a great little diffuser because it actually has white noise and soothing music and trees and nature music and many different lights that you can use as a night light. So he was one that I absolutely had to have. The same recipe that I just gave you for focus is also great for helping us transition through the seasons. There's different things that are happening outside, different plants that are blossoming, and we're all gonna have different reactions. So you can use the same trio of lemon, lavender, and peppermint to help you that way as well. So I hope you're reaching for that peppermint oil to really experience the invigorating, re-energizing benefits of peppermint and let peppermint do its magic on you. Anybody who would like a complimentary 45 minute wellness consultation, please reach out to me at cldbutterfly at hotmail.com or you can go to my website and send me a message at savvybynature.vibrantsense.com. More great videos coming up.